Let us find the exact value of the following expression. First, note that this negative 3 over 5 here is not a special value of a cosine and 1 fourth is also not a special value of tangent. So in this kind of problems, it's better to represent this inverse trig functions to be some angles, let's say alpha and beta. So let's say we represent the arc sine or cosine inverse as alpha. So alpha is equal to cosine inverse of negative 3 over 5. And let's say beta for tangent inverse of 1 fourth. And therefore, we can write our expression as sine of alpha and then plus beta. And using the sum identity for sine, this is just equal to sine of alpha and then cosine beta and then plus cosine of alpha and sine beta. Now, what do we obtain from this equation here? Alpha equal to cosine inverse of negative 3 over 5. So we're going to use the definition of cosine inverse or arc cosine. And this tells us that cosine of alpha is equal to negative 3 over 5 and that the angle alpha is in quadrant 2. This means that the angle alpha terminates in quadrant 2. Keep in mind that the values of cosine inverse is only from 0 to pi. But since cosine is negative, then that angle must be in quadrant 2. Now, how about this equation, beta equal to tangent inverse of 1 fourth? So this equation tells us that the tangent of beta is equal to 1 fourth and that beta is in quadrant 1. So recall that the values of tangent inverse is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. But since tangent here is positive, we know that the angle terminates in quadrant 1. Now, if we go back to what we're looking for, then we need to find the value of sine alpha. We don't know that yet. Cosine beta and then sine beta. And we know already the value of cosine alpha. So we can find the values of these unknown quantities here using this information here in some trigonometric identities. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to find these unknown quantities using triangles, right triangles, and the reference angles of this alpha and beta. So let us draw a right triangle here. So since uh, cosine of alpha is equal to negative 3 over 5, this means that the cosine of the reference angle, which is denoted by alpha bar, is uh, equal to 3 over 5. So we just ignore the sign here. And now we can use our right triangle. So cosine is just adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means this becomes 3 and then over 5. And if we know these uh, two sides of this right triangle, we can obtain this uh, other side here by Pythagorean formula. And we'll obtain here square root of the square of the hypotenuse. So that is square root of 5. So that is equal to 25. And then minus the square of the adjacent side. So that is equal to 9. So this is equal to square root of 16, which is equal to positive 4. So we can also find the other trigonometric function values of beta using right triangle. So again, we can also draw here a right triangle. And then again, we use the reference angle of beta. So we use beta bar. And in that case, tangent of the reference angle is the same thing as tangent of beta because tangent of beta is already positive. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So this is equal to one. 
and then adjacent is equal to 4. And then using Pythagorean formula, we can find the length of the hypotenuse, and this is square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared, so that is equal to 16 plus 1, so that is equal to 17. Now, using this right triangle here, we can already find the value of sine alpha, and this is just equal to either plus or minus sine of alpha bar, the reference angle of alpha. But are we going to choose the plus or minus sign? Because this angle alpha is in quadrant 2, then that means that the sign is positive. So therefore, sine of alpha is just equal to positive sine alpha bar. And using our right triangle, this is just equal to opposite, so that is equal to 4, over hypotenuse, which is equal to 5. Now, let us find the values of sine beta and cosine beta. So, sine of beta is just equal to plus or minus sine of the reference angle, beta bar. And also, cosine of beta is equal to plus or minus the cosine of the reference angle, beta bar. But which sign should we choose? Here, we know that the angle beta is in quadrant 1. So therefore, the value of the sine and cosine are both positive. So in this case, we have to choose the positive sine and positive cosine. So now when we use our triangle, then sine of beta bar is opposite over hypotenuse. So that is equal to 1 over square root of 17. And the cosine beta bar is just equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is equal to 4 over square root of 17. Actually, since beta is in quadrant 1 and beta is tangent inverse of 1 fourth, which means that beta is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, this means that beta is between 0 and pi over 2. That is, beta is an acute angle. So therefore, in this case, beta bar is actually equal to beta. So therefore, we can replace this by beta here. And then we'll get immediately sine of beta equal to this one. And cosine of beta equal to 4 over square root of 17. And therefore, what is the answer to our problem? So this one here is equal to sine of alpha. So that is 4 over 5. And then times cosine beta, which is equal to 4 over square root of 17. And then plus cosine of alpha, which is equal to negative 3 over 5. And then times sine of beta which is equal to 1 over square root of 17. And here we have a common denominator and our common denominator is just 5 square root of 17. And then this one will give us positive 16 and then negative 3 times 1, so that is minus 3. So this is equal to 13 over 5 square root of 17. And if we want to rationalize this denominator here, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 17. And we'll get here what? This is just equal to 13 square root of 17 over 5 times 17. So that is equal to 85. So this is the exact value of this given expression. 